When you turn on a digital camera, be it your phone's camera or one of these, somewhere on the screen, you'll see the letters WB. Sadly, it has nothing to do with the Warner Brothers Water Tower or the Animaniacs. It stands for White Balance. But what the hell is white balance? Glad you asked. Here's the quick version. As we all know from science class, white light is all the colors in the visible spectrum of light together. But that white will be tinted warmer or cooler depending on the source. That tint is called color temperature, measured on the Kelvin scale between roughly 1000 and 10,000 K, but the most common are between about 2300 to 6500 K. The lower the number, the warmer the source. The higher the number, the cooler the source. White balance tells your camera where white is on the color temperature spectrum, and the camera bases the rest of the colors in the frame on that information. My camera is currently set to about 3450K because the bulbs around me are balanced to look like incandescent light, around 3200 to 3500K-ish, whereas this light puck is balanced to daylight, around 5000 to 6500 ish. Unless it's cloudy, then it's lower. The puck appears to give off a blue light, but that's only because of where the white balance is set. If I set the white balance to match the puck, then this light looks normal and the rest of the light around me looks orange-ish. See what I mean? These differences exist all the time, but your brain is more adaptive than your camera. It's taking in information from multiple angles, sources, and situations all the time. Your brain knows that you think of all those different versions of white as the same color, and it compensates in real time, making the differences noticeable if you're looking for them, but much less extreme and far less distracting. The differences are more visible in a video or a picture because despite the auto balance putting up a good fight, your camera can only take in the information in front of it. And since your brain is seeing a representation of the scene, it can't balance it within context clues. To compensate for that, photographers and filmmakers will correct all of the sources to the same color temperature using gel or LED. So that's white balance, the quick version. Next up, I'm going to talk about exactly what the Kelvin scale is and why it's used to measure color temperature. And it's kind of weird. See you then.